families are fully back in back to school mode, students choosing to walk or bike to school. It's a good time to remind students about stranger danger. And as Georgina Fernandez tells us now, it doesn't just mean strangers in person. Right, Georgina? Yeah, Mike, stranger danger also applies in the digital world. And when you're posting information on a public site, you might not know who exactly you're sharing that information with. School is back in full swing. With busy lines. Traffic is always a major concern uh, around school zones. And waves of foot traffic. A lot of pedestrians in the area. Obviously, we want drivers to slow down, whether it's a school zone or not. The Anchorage Police Department says families should speak to their students about safety. Using the sidewalk, crossing the street, using the crossing guards at the areas around the school. Stranger danger plays a part of that. That they should not be talking to people that they don't know, sharing information about themselves that they don't know, getting rides from people that they don't know. And stranger danger precautions includes online for the entire family, sharing private information on a public platform like geolocations and where your kids go to school could put you at risk. In this digital age, it's real easy to put that type of information together. And in some cases, you could have identity theft or, or worse, you could have fraud. Or in some cases, help create a fake profile. It's not uncommon for us to find out about um, people that have created fake profiles on chat groups and they can kind of work their way into a chat group with other students just using information that they find that's readily available to the public. Having the right privacy settings and pausing before you post can help keep the strangers out of your digital world. NAPD says if you're coordinating carpool plans online, they should be cautious of not oversharing personal information, such as your kid's name, vehicle type, and when your kids be home alone. Mike? All right, good advice. Thanks, Georgina.